Many of the homeowners that we visit to catch a rattlesnake for in their backyard have one question. How did the rattlesnake get back here? We got a black tail rattlesnake just right now. So cool. Got a Mojave rattlesnake on South Mountain this morning. Super cool. Hey everyone, headed to a call in South Phoenix right now. A lady just called. She has a rattlesnake in her front yard and she says it's on the move. Uh, she is keeping an eye on it for me, um, but uh, I guess it is starting to move around. I keep hitting every single red light though. I just hit another one, uh, but I will get there. I will get there. I got about 12 minutes to go. Hopefully it just nestles under a bush. We'll see. Been cruising, huh? Yeah. Where was he? Where'd he start? By the, by the door. By the oh, all right. Nice, the Mojave, awesome. That's cool, I don't get a lot of Mojaves over in this way. So not a diamondback. No, it's a Mojave rattlesnake, very cool. Female males, you're worried about them. You guys come, if, I mean, I know you've been watching it for like 30 minutes, just, but if you want to see it in the bucket. Yeah, super cool. So, oh, Mojave? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Pretty snake. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So he was just coiled up over here. Uh, no, actually, right. just kind of laying out. Okay, laying it's out. nice out. They're kind of cruising right now. Yeah. Just laying, just kind of head right there. This rock and then okay. Land straight. Yeah. So it, great. You don't have a lot of vegetation. So uh, I mean, he would have been on his way because eventually it's going to get too hot for him. Right. So that's a good thing. Is whenever you, if you do get vegetation, just get stuff that is not gonna be like overgrown like and yeah, like it, hiding stuff, you know? So like, yeah. because you got drip systems, they will come take a drink out of that. All right, we got the Mojave rattlesnake. Super cool. Look at this gorgeous snake. I can't believe we finally got one on South Mountain. Super cool. Let's see if we can get a closer shot of him. It's okay, buddy. You're gorgeous. Gorgeous, so cool to see a Mojave over here. So I'm gonna put him up in here. Buddy. See you later, bud. Super cool. Oh my gosh, well that was a super awesome call. That was very unexpected. I seriously did not think I was gonna get a Mojave rattlesnake. Now I know they're over here on South Mountain, um, but they're extremely hard to find these days. They used to be a lot more abundant, but they like that flat desert and that's where everyone builds their homes. So sadly, I think a lot of them, you know, ended up dying and there's just not a huge population left over here. So super cool to see one. And it was in a busy neighborhood. Poor thing, crossed a lot of homes, crossed a lot of streets to get to where it was. And so I brought it back to safety. Hopefully it can do okay. Hopefully we see more Mojaves in the future. Um, it's really sad what uh, development will do to a species. So that was exciting. I'm really happy I got to see that. Happy I got to show you guys. Um, hopefully we get a lot more calls today. Many of the homeowners that we visit to catch a rattlesnake for in their backyard have one question. How did the rattlesnake get back here? I have a block wall, I have gates, I have a fence. How on earth did they end up in my backyard? The answer to that is usually pretty easy. Rattlesnakes might be three or four feet long, but they're only an inch tall. So that means that little drain that goes in the side by the trash can, that's a rattlesnake entry point. The gate keeps you in, keeps your dog in, uh, rattlesnake crawls right under it. And block walls and that kind of thing, they're only as good as the corners and edges, so a lot of times there's gaps between the house and the wall. View fencing, yeah, keeps some things in and out, but if it's only a, a foot and a half or two feet off the ground, then a snake can crawl over it. Even really good fences and gates are gonna have a hard time keeping things that are snake-shaped out of them unless they're specifically modified to keep those snake-shaped things out of there. That is actually what the rattlesnake fencing uh, product that we offer is, is just to fix those things up so rattlesnakes can't climb into them. But for the most part, the drains and gates and easy access points that are found in every yard by default are really easy for rattlesnakes to climb through and that's how they got into your yard. Hey 
everyone, headed to Colin Awatuki right now. Got ourselves a rattlesnake in a backyard. I guess it's wedged between the fence and like a cat and dog run, an outdoor area where people let their dogs and cats so the coyotes and stuff don't get them. Uh, but so it's really close to where the pets hang out, so definitely need to get that snake out of there. And I'm just about to pull up right now. We have all these little guys that were just oh, too nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have coyotes that jump our fence because the backyard is right up against it. Yeah. So you'll see it right here on the left hand side as you walk right there. Oh, yep. Oh, it's a black tail rattlesnake. Very cool. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a cool rattlesnake. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> but we uh, we have an aviary yeah, it was for our birds, birds yeah. cats, and dogs. Oh, shoot. Um, and then this is all to stop our giant 100-pound uh, tortoise from oh, eating the cactus. Too? The yeah. cactus are for him. Well, and I was out here watering, and I'm like, oh, there's a snake, and we just had a giant gopher snake a little while oh, ago. Oh, did so you? I'm like, oh, maybe it's a gopher. Yeah, the gopher yeah. snakes were like, we love you guys. Yeah. And then but I these guys, and with, I'm like, no, it's not a gopher. With four cats and... Oh, he dogs. rattled, did you? No, he didn't actually. Oh. Here, I'll be quiet while you work. Yeah, I feel like if you have the right equipment... Yeah, your little grabbers that you have right there probably, <laughs> no, just, I, I already probably failed. wouldn't have grabbed it very yeah. good. They're not very strong, you know? I, I already failed grabbing the garter snake. Oh, did you? So I already knew they were Well, those, those are, I feel like those are hard to grab even with these. I, uh, I always go hands with those. Um, you want to see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's super yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, get down. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I was like, I want to see it when I... Sorry. Oh, it's called a black tail rattlesnake. Let me situate him better so you can see his black tail. Make sure he doesn't get out. Okay, see his black tail? Oh, yeah. Super cool. One That's of my awesome. faves. They're so cool. I love black tail. Has there ever been one that you're like really nerve wracked like to get? Uh, not really, no. Used to yeah, they, they don't really scare me, but like. You clearly have a, a snake whisper thing going because it know. didn't even rattle when you picked it up. It was just like, oh, hey, what's up? Where are we it's going? It's like, what's up? Are they, they kind of like other animals where they can sense if you're like nervous or not so much? The thing is like when you see them go nuts, either people are messing with them or a dog mess with them yeah. or you see people grab with those or squeeze too tight, yeah. you know? So like I barely grabbed him. He didn't quite like me pulling him all the way over here yeah. to where my bucket was, but yeah, yeah they're, they're usually pretty chill yeah you know the exact pressure to use yeah because you can break ribs very easily oh. and that's a lot of times they'll freak out i mean obviously if you're squeezing hard they're like oh sure. crap something's yeah. gonna get me yeah now what do you do with them i'll hike him back into south mountain i'll hike him up, up oh, the mountain good. There and release him and he'll be good but yeah so, so cool i love black tails oh, i'm so excited we don't get a lot of black tails really not really no you know uh this house we get every weird thing here yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves another black tail rattlesnake. Look at this thing. Look at how gorgeous. Let's get close. Let's let it go. Got a nice spot picked up. See you later, buddy. So gorgeous. All right. Well, South Mountain just does not disappoint. We got a black tail rattlesnake just right now. So cool. Got a Mojave rattlesnake on South Mountain this morning. Super cool. Um, so yeah, so we're doing good. We're doing real good. Um, I love getting calls on South Mountain. You guys know I do. You know I do. By this point, if you watched enough of the videos you know i get excited every time not only that it's super duper close but that you just never know what species you're gonna get and those are two super awesome species of rattlesnake um i love black tails and i love mojaves too um so very cool uh we got a beautiful storm beautiful storm coming um and the temps dropped so it feels really good out so hopefully we get some more calls and maybe you'll see more of me thank you bye